Hey Wastelanders, Wanderer here. Welcome back to Fallout New California. So, last episode, we made our way over to Fort Dagger Point here, and we decided to scout out ahead of time for the sort of raiding party that we're taking over here for the NCR. They're here for supplies. So, we've finally gotten everything scouted out, and i gotten everything I can pretty much get here, so I think we are going to go back and talk to, I believe his name is Captain Jameson, and tell him that we are ready and bring the actual NCR uh, party over here. Man, this place is enormous! How are we supposed to search all this for useful supplies? We only need the stuff on the inside. Artillery, mini-nukes, spare guns and ammo. It's supposed to be a treasure chest. Then why didn't the NCR send more brass? This place needs an army to defend against the raiders, not a couple the guys. The army's still bogged down elsewhere. Congress is keeping us out of the fight. We're just here on desperate measures. Yeah, desperate is right. You two quit talking. Keep your eyes open. When the NCR gets free boots, we'll be all over this place. We ready to get a move on? I don't want to idle here much longer. Yeah, let's go. Sure enough. Let's go. Oh god, they're gonna walk the whole way again. They were going real slow before. It was pretty bad. Definitely would be cool if you could get in these places more. Are you guys fighting the uh, iBots or what are you fighting? Those eyeballs didn't do anything to you, man. They are enclave, though. But yeah, I wish we could get in some of these places. Uh, well. I'm sure it was a massive. Oh, there are some feral ghouls. I'm sure, it was a massive project just to get this done. Got him. Oh, a level up. Nice. I think I need higher repair to make more, like, certain stuff at the work, uh, certain uh, ammo types. Gonna go ahead and boost it up, I think. And we don't get to perk this level. Oh! Fuck! Man! Thanks a lot! You know, you blew it up right next to my fucking head, Jameson. May I shoot you in the face, huh? Would you like that? That's my eyebot. What are you shooting my eyebot for? I don't know what you're shooting at, man, but, you know, fuck you. Shoot me in the damn head. Now I gotta use a damn stim pack. Last time I take point for you. Keep going. Yeah, that's right. You take point now. If you're gonna be shooting stuff right next to my head and blowing it up, I'll shoot stuff next to your head and blow it up. See how you like it. I wonder if the Trooper Morales is related to the one that we see in New California or not. We're supposed to find, uh, was it Ranger Morales or Trooper Morales? I think it was Ranger Morales' body for his wife. Can we go, guys? What are you guys, what are we doing here? Y'all are, like, stuck and your scripting's all messed up. There we go. We go, oh, God. I should have killed all the iBots, too. They're going to take four fucking ever... To kill them all repeatedly. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Yo, what's the hold up, fellas? Ah, damn it. Those bodies must be from the scouts Silverman sent last week. Yeah, what's left of the poor bastards? Still think we're alone out here, Captain? There, movement. I see raiders up on the tower. Go to cover and take them out. Sir. We'll run to the fort. Move. Now there's raiders. Roman, my god, my god, really? You all gotta run right in front of me. Did 
There's there's Ben just throwing his fucking spears. Of course he is. Dibs on loot, fellas. Let's go, fellas. Let's go. Let's not wait for the grass to grow here. Come on. I do, still don't see anybody over here. Play up the liquor, Homer. You're stumbling all over the place. I do like that Solid Project makes you um, look away from friendlies like that whenever you're looking at them that's pretty cool close range anyway it does how much you want to bet we're gonna get ambushed up here guys a whole bunch of raiders are gonna show up along the walls it's gonna be a, a slaughter on these guys I got a real bad feeling about this and here we are, just taking our good old time, walking as slow as we can possibly walk. You never realize we have Brahmin and stuff, but damn. We are just sitting ducks out here. And are any of these guys have, have their weapons drawn or looking or anything? Nope, they're just walking along. Come on, there you go. We're here. All right, let's see if the key really does the trick. Agent, do it. Come on, hurry up! Those raiders will send back up that'll be on top of us in a minute. All right, it let's go. did it. Get the cows inside. Hurry! I want this door sealed up behind us. All right, here we go. That doesn't look good. Oh my god, it's a Gatling turret. Well, 5.56mm uh, rounds. That's cool. Another combat helmet. That's also cool. Don't think I want the service rifle, but I'll keep the ammo, that's for sure. God, I cannot carry this stuff, guys. It is too heavy. That should hold me over for a while anyway. Ooh. Well, that was an awful miss, but hey, he's dead. Good job, robots. I have a bad feeling about those turrets, man. Whoa, yeah. I want to go back out with the raiders. This place is creepy as all hell, homie. Buck up, trooper. Strip this place clean. If anything that goes, boom. Let's search. Room to room. What is that? Mute fruit. Medical brace, crutch. We can make uh, doctor's bags with those, right? I believe, anyway. Drifter's backpack. Interesting. That's pretty cool. Does it give me a bunch more carry weight? Please say yes. Uh, it gives me 35 pounds. Gives me barter. I lose AP and sneak and agility, though. That's pretty rough. All for, like, 10 more pounds. Well, I can give the other backpack to somebody else, I guess. Here, uh, Ben, take a Just backpack. Just don't touch my spears. If you'll wear it. You do. Nice. Who is shooting at what here? Here we go. Wait, 
Wait, can I get in there? I went through a wall there. Yeah, that would be clipping through. That would not be good. There's a campfire here. I can't use it, though. I haven't seen very many campfires around. I mean, I haven't had any issues finding food either, but... All right, so uh, where are we supposed to go here? It's information center, south wing. Oh, you got that derp face going, man. Let me get a save real quick. So far, I mean, I'm not seeing much here. Maybe there's more stuff for the uh, NCR here than me, but I'm not seeing anything. Nothing too impressive anyway. Whoa. I wish we could get these old trucks going. Wouldn't have to walk back to Union City. Hey, you see that light down there? Looks like that tunnel leads somewhere. I'm more interested in what that sentry bot is guarding. Orders say there's something down that tunnel. Silverman wants us to check it out. Yeah, I didn't want to go down there anyway. That sure as hell where the monster is. Probably a death claw. Oh shit, okay, he's attacking me. Jesus, you guys all right? Repair? Not certified. Damn. I want to repair a sentry bot, man. I want to have a sentry bot companion. Would be amazing. I mean, I kind of want to go down here, but I'm assuming I'm going to take a lot of rads if I do. This almost looks like a vault. Where does this go? Vehicle tunnel. Get a save in here. Well, no rads so far, despite the radioactive material being everywhere around here. My light really does not do very much. My pit boy light does not do very much for me as, as far as illuminating the area goes. It's still quite dark in here. So I apologize for that. I know it's going to be even darker for you guys on YouTube because... For whatever reason, it's always darker on YouTube. There are some trucks and stuff over there I guess we can check. Okay, so that, I do take rads if I wa literally walk through it, but otherwise I don't. I wonder if you would see this if you went the Enclave side. There might be a monster down here, but you know, I want to see... Jesus, Jen, be a little more careful. Better be something good down here. And not just a complete waste of my time. I think it's been just a complete waste of my time. Yeah, I don't see anything down here at all. Okay, back up we go. So we've got that other wing to explore. We got the utility tunnel right here. The vehicle tunnel. I guess we could have snuck in over there probably if we would have wanted to. And then we've got the um, other vehicle tunnel here. I guess we'll go through this one and see what's here. Robo brain up there. Clear the vehicle tunnel of hostiles. Got it. I'll never hit that from here. Wasn't there one over here though? I think these are incendiary rounds. That's pretty damn good, man. He didn't know what hit him. I do like this, uh anti-material rifle. I, I get what people like it, man. It's a one-shot, one-kill for many enemies. Just, just stand here and let me do all the work there, Jameson.
These are regular rounds, do a lot less damage. <clears throat> this looks like a vault, man. This looks like a vault. Vault door activate. Hmm. Are there multiple vaults in here? Those missiles are going to be heavy. I'm going to have to find someone else to carry those. Do you have missile launcher back at the base? So let me see. If, can I activate these? Hitting E does nothing. Maybe you're not supposed to be able to. It would be kind of insane if there were a whole bunch of vaults in here. Though maybe they're all storage areas and we can get in there if we uh, activate the controls. Oh, there it says ammo over there. Maybe there's hope for us yet. Do not. Target locked. Dude, we, we blew him up pretty good. He's missing a sizable chunk of him there. Says ammo here, and um, there's a lot of ammo over there, looks like. Multiple sentry bots. Do I have any explosives or anything? I mean, those are guys are kind of tough. Yeah, let's, let's try these. ever there was a time, right, when two sentry bots are grouped up, probably a good time. Yeah, just, you know, let me use all my ammo up there, Jameson. Yeah, don't worry about it, man. I got it. Holy shit. Wait a minute. Yeah, there's a bunch of warheads here. There's a long delay whenever I hit search there. <clears throat> Got some mini nukes. Weapons locker. What do we have here? Okay. Yeah, some okay stuff. Power fist, sniper rifle, just a regular, holy shit, the regular sniper rifle is insane DPS. Dudes, 459 DPS on the standard sniper rifle. It doesn't even have any mods yet. It's not even fully repaired yet. And it uses 308 ammo too, which I have, you know, a decent amount of. That's awesome. You find a fat man, some main nukes. It's too much to carry for now, so they're transferred to the Brahmin. Okay. All right, let's fan out and search for a way up to the next level. There must be stairs or an elevator in here. I'm about out of ammo for my antimaterial rifle, so I'm going to swap over. And besides which, it, it does terrible DPS. It does good damage, obviously, per shot. It does terrible DPS. Uh, the sniper rifle, though, man, that thing does great Great DPS. Now, I don't have a whole lot of 308 on me, although um, I think Jen does. I think Jen has quite a bit of 308. Where are you at, Jen? Because she's been using a hunting rifle. Okay. Take anything I have. Yeah, well, we'll take your 308 rounds. Um, I'm going to give you the antimaterial rifle for now. Oh, you can't actually carry that. It's too much, huh? You've actually got a lot of carry weight now that you've got the, um, the backpack. That should do for now. And then let's go ahead and bind this weapon. Bind the sniper rifle uh, to four. That could be my new primary weapon, man. Thing's pretty beastly. Must have really, really uh, fast shots to be able to have such high DPS. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and repair it as well. I do have a couple weapon repair kits. One more should do it. 
Holy shit, guys. 603 DPS. God damn. God damn. I don't have a whole lot of ammo for us. I'm going to kind of conserve it here, but damn. That is amazing. We're going to get some more 308 ammo for sure. Okay, anything else around here? Another main nuke, okay. Sure, why not? Agent, I'm going to need a hand moving all this debris out of the tunnel. You head on out this pathway in the opposite direction, see if you can find a way around this mess. Your team can stay here and help us out. Uh, really? I, I think my team should come with me. Getting real sick of you constantly telling me what to do. I saved your ass, remember? And I'm getting real sick of you not following orders, Agent. That cash in your pocket is where I get my authority. That is, unless you want to forfeit pay and walk on out of here. You ain't got anywhere else to be. You're locked in here, too. Not locked in, but whatever. Good. Just head out the door and poke your head around a little. And come back if you reach the other building. I'll still be here. Explore the Fissure of Sorrow. I mean, I'm just saying, like, you know, I could have let my men go with me at least. So there's this lower area down here. At least I still got my robots. Oh, right, the Fissure of Sorrow is where we're supposed to go. Okay. Well, before we go there, there's the right wing as well. That I wanted to check out. Can't get through any of these yet. Can't go this way. Uh, your men aren't even working on... Oh, they're, they're going to clear this debris over here. This is what they're working on. <coughs> okay. Forgot how annoying it is to have to... Um, Eating stuff all the time. And sleep as well. Although I do have like a million Nuka Cola on someone. Okay, I'm gonna go back through. I wanna see what's over in. Um, we never went up on top here either. Up upstairs over here. There could be controls to open all these things. You never know. But the right wing over here was. There was something over here as well. Can I repair you? Not certified. Damn. Nothing on you either. So this goes back outside. This goes the right wing, right? No, it goes to central. Unless we're in the right wing already. Can we just go in the right wing? I can't remember. All right, let's see what is up here. Not much of anything. All right, fine. Fine, Colonel. Colonel, I guess we'll go down and explore the fissure site, sending me there alone. Of course you would, you damn coward. All right, well, let's see what's here. The fissure of sorrow. I'm sure this is going to be fun. Wait a minute. This goes back outside. I, I wasn't exactly expecting that. I don't see anyone over here. This thing is really steady. I think I don't have enough strength to use the, um, the other one. Which is why it wobbles so much whenever I aim. There is a super mutant. There are several super mutants, actually. I wonder if I'm within range here. Probably not. It's a long ass ways away. Let me get a save in. I'm going to get a little bit closer, but then, yeah, we're going to take these guys on. Medical backpack. What is this? How much carry weight does that have? Oh, it it, it gives you plus 15 medical. That's kind of cool. Only plus 15 weight, though. It doesn't actually weigh anything, though, which is cool. It's not bad. I'll give it to one of my companions for sure. 
I get a better vantage point here. This will do, I think. That looks more like a robot. I can't get a beat on them from here. I can't get a vats on them from here. I want to get close enough to actually use vats and see if they're red to me or not. And uh, if they are, then we'll just go ahead and kill them from here, I guess. Super Mutant Master. They're not red, actually, which uh, is bizarre. Maybe they're not hostile. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. Armor piercing 308. Oh, yes. That's exactly what I wanted. And this is another sniper rifle. Is this different than mine at all, or is this the same thing? Man, what, what luck. Just got another sniper rifle. This one's actually a little bit better shape. Well, that's, that's amazing. I can swap over to uh, armor piercing. Have to assume that DPS calculation can't, can't uh, count in the reload time as well. All right, well, are you guys not hostile? Dude. Dude, that guy looks cool as hell. Looks awesome. Reminds me of uh, Darth Bane. There's guys up there with a missile launcher. Is that what that is? Yeah, I think he's got a missile launcher up there. Yeah, two guys with missile launchers. All right, uh, I'm going to save before I talk to this guy. And if it turns to shit, I'm just going to reload and attack first, probably. But we'll try negotiations first, I guess. I mean... You never know. Maybe they're maybe they're nice, evil-looking super mutants. Ah, the humans I requested have arrived. Glorious. We have been awaiting you for some time. I was worried you would run the other way when you realized this was a trap. Not that it would matter. I would have found you anyway. Wow, a super mutant. I never thought I'd meet one in person. My name is Ken. Ah, uh, I recognize that voice. I remember the man you came from. What a unique specimen among the human beast. I am grateful our allies among the NCR fulfilled our bargain and delivered you to me intact. What a most glorious prize. You're telling me that Silverman sold me out? Mm. I'm sure Silverman wasn't aware of our agreement within the NCR Senate, simply following the orders of his superiors. Super mutants are a powerful race, no matter how disadvantaged we may have been by previous setbacks. Do not blame him for doing as he was told. Your destiny awaits within our manifest, and if it is vengeance you seek for their betrayal, we offer it in spades, child. Are you implying that I'm some kind of mutant offspring? In a manner, yes. Of course, you wouldn't remember. But I see that legendary curiosity still drives you. How fortunate those traits survived the process. You think of yourself as superior, but to me, you've just taken what isn't yours. Understandable. That is our reputation. We are superior to mortals, but none of us asked for this gift. I resisted the Master when he first called us from our vault, as did many. It wasn't until after the Master was burned in those flames that I understood the greatness we had been robbed of. My brothers and I had a chance at a life rich with meaning. Was it kind or just? No. We were exterminators, killers, kidnappers. But you have seen the world in which we live. Humans are no better. You've seen war far too young, betrayed by men beyond your lifetime in boardrooms and corporations you'll never know the names of. They left you to be raised in a wasteland, barren, irradiated, 
squabbling over the last crumbs of what's left in a hellscape. There was no choice in this downfall. War, as I understand it, never changes in its savagery or meaninglessness. But we can. We have. Our existence has created a new meaning to this world, above the oblivion we were damned to as mortal flesh. We will rise above the chaos of the war that ended the world, and end the cycle that mankind just barely managed to escape. This glorious purpose will take one last act of force, an insignificant cruelty, to usher in a generation innocent of all of this misery, and then we will be rid of it. Will we be forgiven, perhaps in time? Life will go on beyond our sight, beyond even the memory of us. Will it matter in 10,000 years when we've seen the worlds around other stars and spread life even beyond the limits of light? Or will we let our squeamishness damn us to oblivion? A kindness too weak, leaving us to fade on the dust of a dead world. The, the strength one. I, I, I need to go now, big scary man. If I had agility, I could do an instant leg cripple. I could tell him that um, I cannot run him. Or I can say, if you give me a chance to walk away, I'll listen to your offer. Take me inside. A wise choice. I will prepare you for a life unlike one you have dreamed of in your wildest imagination. So are they giving up? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, he's fast. The Master's Revenge. Are they giving us a chance to join him? That's why we were separated from our companions. Can we become a super mutant? Dude, this guy's armor is fucking awesome. This guy is a badass. Like, I want to join him. Screw it, man. Let's become a super mutant. Let's do it. I'm all on board, man. Project Brazil. So that's what Project Brazil was. We've got um, main nukes here we can take. Am I going to have room for all this? Probably not. 40 millimeter grenades. Seems like they're... Uh, what is this? Eight milli 88 millimeter cannon. Holy hell. 88 millimeter nuclear rounds. 50 MGs. I can't run anymore. Let me take a look at this damn gun, man. It's gotta be heavy as hell. Oh my god! 88 millimeter anti-tank. Oh my god, it weighs 180 freaking pounds. Holy shit. That's insane. Awesome, but insane. The DPS is actually horrible on it, I guess because it takes a long time to reload. But holy shit, that's crazy. All right, well, I can't carry this thing, man. It's way too heavy. Awesome, though. I may consider taking that on the way out or something. I guess we'll see. Dude, this is awesome. This this chain, this, this twist in the story is freaking awesome. I was not expecting this at all. And it's a really, really cool throwback to the old Fallouts, which I haven't played, but I've heard about. I've heard about uh, the Master and the Super Mutants and, and where they came from. And they used to be smart originally. They used to be, you know, just... They were big brutes and everything, but they were also smart. Um, it's really, really interesting. I'd, I'd like to go back and play those games just to learn about this lore. It's a nice minigun you got there, sir. What do we have up here? Nothing. Let's see if there are any uh, 
88 millimeter tank rounds here. Anti-tank rounds, but it doesn't look like it. Another main nuke. Another main nuke. Biolab 1, second Biolab. Project Brazil Experimental Complex. Where did, uh... Where did the guy go? I'm just looking around, because in case, like, we have to... In case we say no for whatever reason, or in case we don't have an option to say no... Um, because it sounds like they want to make us a super mutant. I can unlock this as well, and then, uh, turn it on them, I suppose, if I wanted to. Let me get a saving, guys, because holy crap, this is cool. It looks like he's wearing, um, parts of, like, X01 power armor. It's not, um... It's not powered, I don't think, but he's just so buff he can wear it. God, these guys look cool. Yeah, he really reminds me of Darth... Or not Yeah, Darth... Darth Bane? No, not Darth Bane. What was his name from Star Wars The Republic with the face mask? I forget. Did he go into Biolab 1? I'm not sure. There are bunkers over there. There's also this area in the in the center over here. Failed FEV subject. This is what happens if they fail. God, that's that's disgusting and brutal and awesome. Another oh, it's incinerator. Mutated enclave scientist. Enclave scientist outfit. Doesn't weigh a lot. I'll just go ahead and take it. Are there any, like, notes or anything around here? So this is an enclave area. They were experimenting with the FEV, apparently. And, um... Okay, here we go. That's development, page three. Is there a page two and a page one here? Doesn't look like it. Let me read this real quick. May 2059. The VATS project is nearly done. After years of training, our subjects to calculate chance and many practice trials, I am proud to say that the project is coming along nicely. As agreed with our terms to Vault Tech, upon completion, the new tool will be available to all Vault residents and the soldiers fighting in Europe. However, there was one concern our subjects brought up. To use VATS, they acquired a special implant to be placed inside their Pip-Boys to increase aiming precision and visual enhancement. So far, the only side effect known was that the Pip-Boy overheats. Obviously, people were worried that this may have some damaging unforeseen consequences to the brain, but so far it only causes physical exhaustion, especially if a person keeps trying to use VATS. Overall, despite unknown dangers, I strongly believe VATS will provide much usefulness in the end. That's why your AP drains. Oh, this thing's okay, but it's really heavy. I don't have the room for it. I'm gonna drop it for now. There's something to drop here as well. Okay, I have to drop some stuff. It's fine. What does this scientist have on him? Nothing, just another outfit. Okay. And anything in the locker here? More VATS notes? No, police batons and shot glass is gonna pass, gonna pass. I know we're not going where we're like supposed to go, but I wanted to see. Are we gonna get like, holy crap, there's just like, just like biomatter everywhere. Oh my God, this looks awesome. Am I gonna take like major rads if I walk on this? No, I guess not. I can't get in here though. Unfortunately, it's all sealed off. What in the hell is this stuff, man? Enclave was up to some freaky shit, man. I see that person like hanging by chains up there. I want to go up along there too. Look at all the look at all the lockers and stuff up there, man. There's like a bunch of loot up there. How do I, um, how do I get up there? Oh, this looks so cool, though. Look at that eyeball. Look at that giant eyeball, man.
This area design so far is like by far the coolest thing I've seen in this mod. It's just cool as hell. Alright, uh, let me see. Can I... Can I get up here? I don't see a way from here. I think we're supposed to go over to Biolab 1. Biolab 2 is uh, not in a good spot, obviously. Private Daniels, Fort Dagger Point, United States Air Force Base. The damn door's locked. The fallout shelter has to be on the other side. I saw those agency boys go in there earlier. I bet that they knew about whatever this is. Maybe if I can get in there, I'll ask them. I just heard gunfire from in there. What the hell? All right, now I'm curious and this is set in stone. If we can get up to the general's office over in the south wing, he might just have our key. Me, Perso, and Williams are heading over there now. I don't know what the hell's going on out there, but I'm not going to be there lucky bastard who finds out. Damn it, should have joined the goddamn navy. Over in the south wing, they said. Yeah, okay, let's go to the bio lab one and see what, let's see what it's gonna take to become a super mutant. Oh, there's more stuff here too. No, I just random crap on the ground. Never mind. All right, let's see in the bunker. Oh man, I think we're gonna become a super mutant, guys. Uh oh. This is indeed glorious. The scans of your body show the Project Brazil parasite has matured. Behold, human, your destiny. The torch of our salvation you kept. They never told you, did they? The vault dwellers or the enclave. I'm sure they didn't understand it. This gift you have been given has allowed you to evolve beyond the abilities of the inferior human flesh. But it's the capacity to survive that makes it you, and not simply survive injuries and radiation, but your own mortality. Come, join me. Okay, well, why am I in here? I like, all I can do is like, when I press W, it just like makes me follow him. This is really weird. The controls are all screwed up. Whoa, what the fuck? Why can I, nothing, my controls are all screwy, man. There, I'm sure you have questions before you meet your destiny. Not that it will matter in a moment. All will be made clear the instant the transformation is complete. So, what is that thing inside me? I'm sure all your life you've witnessed strangeness beyond your reckoning. The Project Brazil Parasite is the last secret from a pre-war experiment seeking eternal life. It was meant to allow a mortal like you to enjoy the benefits of being a member of the Master Race without our bulk or sterility. But it was wild, untamed. The humans saw it as chaos, twisting flesh into forms beyond their imagining. They feared it, like a cancer. But it was so much more than a tool of the mortals. It was freedom from the inferior form of man, from limits and boundaries. It is immune to radiation, from disease, from death, and it is immune from mortal comprehension. Why did the father put that thing in me and then just throw me out in the wasteland? He knows the true nature of Project Brazil, far beyond any of us. If you wish to ask him, you may meet him, but only after your transformation. We do not wish for you to merge too soon. Hang on. Merge? Well, only part of you. You see, we super mutants are created in the vats of FEV, the forced evolutionary virus, like myself. The process renders us sterile, 
unable to produce offspring. The father has long sought to fix this problem using an evolved form of the same parasite created within you. You were born with the parasite. It is part of you, tamed and mutable. Once you have taken a dip in the vats, then you too will become a super mutant. But the part of you that allows you to reproduce, that is the part the parasite uses to heal you from injury, the part that clones your tissues. It will survive the process, as will you, transformed but viral. So you want to use me as a super mutant stud? Mm, in a manner. After you have been transformed, the Project Brazil parasite will be free to begin spawning new copies of itself, reproducing endlessly. After the first generations are born, they can be grafted into the unity. This will allow the father to spread unity all across this dead and suffering world. A carpet of life born anew. Free of radiation, disease, death. And you will be its sire. An entire world of your creation. Flawless and perfect. Glorious. And what happens to everyone else who doesn't get transformed? Am I just going to kill them all? No. We are trying to end warfare and the suffering it brings, not perpetuate it. War was necessary the first time around, before we understood the true meaning of our supreme nature. We thought we were finite and doomed. Now we have another way. Not the dead end of a master, but the gifts of a father and you will be the salvation that frees man of all iniquity and turmoil. You will cleanse them of their inferiority and grant them eternal life. So we're going to turn them into modified super mutants, I guess. So why don't all of you have this Project Brazil thing? There was only one way to ensure it matured along with the host. To create our own human, cloned, blended with it in every way. I'd covet yours. My legs would long ago have been restored. Perhaps after your powers have matured, you may grant me a new body. Think of all the lives you will spare from misery, healing all infirmity, weakness and doubt. You will restore meaning to the meaningless. Make giants of cowards, immortals of the damned. But only after you've taken the dip. And what if I say no? You have come this far. It is too late to run now. After all, it is your destiny. You were born for this singular purpose. I have some questions before we begin. Hmm. For a mortal of lesser intellect, I'd simply force you over the edge. But, since you are a brilliant mind, ask what you wish. Tell me more about the father. You said he was a man once. Yes. His name was Mark. He was with the Master when he transcended from his mortal bindings to the glorious unity. Mark became the first of the Nightkin, the Master's most trusted ally. Mark was responsible for seeking our most vital experiments across the Waste. He found the greatest prime normals and unique specimens. My favorite was a ghoul-like creature we called Harold. We gave him a gift called Project China and let him loose. He was a most amusing creature. We are unsure of what happened to him, however. He disappeared. We never went hunting for him. And why is it called Project Brazil? Hmm, a reasonable question. The scientist who created the project needed a code name to hide its true purpose from Soviet spies. They chose their primitive alphabet as the first layer, and the names of countries after that. A dumb trick. 
but highly successful. Most spies thought each project belonged to a nation. They never thought to look in California. Why did these scientists make these insane projects? Why else? To seek immortality, the cure for all disease. They saw a world that would soon change beyond all recognition and wished to adapt to it themselves. But after they saw the face of immortality, their primitive minds shrieked. Project America was meant to create the perfect super soldier, us. Super mutants, free from radiation, plague, and stronger than a living tank. Project Brazil was meant to make men immortal to escape all infirmity and make the old young again. Project China was intended to create plant life that could graft onto the human body and give rise to fresh oxygen and radiation scrubbers. It was brilliant. An entire ecosystem in one body. But it eventually consumed the host. Projects Denmark and France are simply more FEV stored in other places back east. We'll reclaim them in time. Okay, I've heard enough. Of course. Uh, well, here goes nothing. Yes, this is the beginning of a glorious new dawn. So I'm supposed to enter the FEV chamber. Is, uh... Is that here? Oh, okay. The war for California soon reaches a fever pitch. The super mutant father's powers grow as elements of your body are integrated into the twisting organism and your fate is sealed within it. A new generation of savage beasts emerge from the depth of Fort Dagger Point, their howling forms unkillable and in endless supply. Many humans are transformed in the father's unquenchable lust for power. His army soon rises to conquer the NCR. Your final act of betrayal ushers in an era of darkness. The world is gradually conquered beneath the banner of the Master Race. Humanity has driven to the razor's edge of extinction for thousands of years. Eventually, a new dawn comes, but in a future far from here, and unknown to the eyes of man. Really? So if you do that, that's it. The game is over. Okay, well, I'm not going to end it here, guys. I'm not going to end the series here after that. That was quite interesting, though. I wanted to see what would happen. So this is the end of this episode, but not the end of the series. We're going to go back next episode and try to escape the grasp of the super mutants and the NCR, specifically the Senate, needs to pay for their betrayal. This might mean that we side with the Raiders, it might mean that we side with the Enclave. I have a feeling the Enclave would have done the same though. It would have ended the same way. So thanks for watching everyone and I will see you next time.